Hey guys, today I'm going to do a re review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Nest Bludgeon. So, Bludgeon is a green tank. It's a Japanese tank. I forgot the name of it. So, there's a Decepticon symbol right there. He's all green. Here you can see the, the, the weapons right here. A machine gun up here. So the turret does turn around. He does have some wheels right here, so it does grow. But it has real treads and does his wall on them. So, yep, they put wheels. So, so. You can see he yes he has it's orange black and then gray and then black again on the wheels. So there's a there. If you open up right here, this is there's a little katana for bludgeon. So put it back there. You can see the detail right there. I don't know some wheels and some armor right there. Very nice, very nice. I'm painting a detail. They even added detail here. You can see it. So to transform him, the first thing to do is take this sword off, which is a rubber sword. And then unpeg the treads off. Okay, lift this up. So, oh crap. So then unpeg this from right there, from the tab right there. Then on tab right here, the arms, and pull them up. Push them down. Take off the hands. So moving back down. So then do this. Move the leg, the feet right there, like this. Do the same over here. Then move this up. And then move the leg. Oh, I think I did it wrong way. Yep, I did it wrong way. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. So much stuff flying. Oh, okay, okay, an hour, an hour, no. So. So there. So the first thing, for, then move the, the part of the tank down over here then do the same thing over here then move the the legs up like this you got you you need to put the black part the black part over here to the thing to the pin and then Move the legs like this. So here we have the legs. Move, push, move them like this. Then move the arms down. And then push it up so it reveals his head so here is 
bludgeon. And move this right like this over here. The arms. So the back of the 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 turret part of the tank doesn't really do anything. But you can open it up like this. So here is bludgeon. And here is his sword, so just put it in the hand. There is his sword in the hand. So here is the size comparison with the Transformers Combined Wars Voyager. You can see the Motor Master is bigger than, than Bludgeon. And here's one with the Deluxe, Prime Deluxe. Knockout. Now let's get that to Bludgeon. Okay, so my when I was putting the sword in, so the fingers fell out. I don't know how. But here's Bludgeon's face. So move this up. So there's Bludgeon's face. So you can see. See the detail on his face. Put flash. And a very nice face. Head scope. You can see the red eyes of the part of his mouth. And the sensei helmet. The uh, this one the samurai helmet with his face on it. So. Let me bring in, let me bring in something for my wheels. So, I'm going to put it up. Oh no. So, it's better representation of the figure. So here it is with Drift. I'm gonna do a review probably next right now of him. So there's Drift. About the same color scheme except for the green. But his swords, he has two swords. Well, it Bludgeon has two swords, or a sword and a katana. He's a little bit smaller because he's a deluxe class. Gonna zoom in a little bit. Thinking about putting the flash. So here. See all the detail. He has the Septicon symbol right there. The samurai chest plates and the the robe. And here's the sword. Small katana. Pretty interesting, but he can't hold it because of. He doesn't have the fingers right here, so they're broke. Here he is holding it. It's a pretty small sword. Katana on me. It's 
so he's, he can hold it like this, like an assassin. Okay, now, you know he doesn't want to hold it, so. He has some mech tech feature, which if you move his leg, it will do this, which was part of the Re Revenge of the Fallen, what they did. Because it's Septicon symbol right there too. So now for transformation. Uh, first thing to do is store the katana. But oh yeah, I forgot. One feature is right here. You can put the the sword in the katana. Got to move the the back. Sword just goes slides in. So there's the sword. Uh, the uh, Megatron repaint was done with this. Mostly people use it uh, for this as a tank cannon. So pull this back. So open this back for transformation. Oh yeah, articulation. For articulation, uh, he moves his arms like this. Can do this. Move them around. Push it in. Move his head around. Although not quite. You can see the back of his head. And then... And then his legs go up. We have to move this up. He can spin, move it all around. Move his in the knee. Then move his feet. Oh, you can't see. And the feet, and then he does. He doesn't have waist articulation, so that's that's a con. You can move the back. So, for transformation, the first thing to do is push in the hands. Flip this up. Store the katana here. And push it. Make sure it's straight because if it's not straight, it will not go in. And then move this this way. Unpeg the legs. But they were not pig at all. Wait, they were. So. So we'll move them this way. Then push this in. Do the same over here. It doesn't matter if you put it like this or like this, sticking out. Oh, I don't, I, at least I don't think so. So then move this, this, then push, pull it, so there it goes, so then push this up, move the leg like this. Move the leg straight. No, yeah, move the leg straight. Actually, I made that mistake. So, move the, the leg backwards, the knee. Do the same over here. Then 
you push this up for the movement, move the arms. Push, tab, make sure everything is tabbed in. You can tap in this and that. Move this so you can see over here the tank. So move this over here, pick it in. And then move this here to make sure it's tabbed in. I don't know, best I advised you to do that all the time. It'll break your figure. Oh, you have to move this down. So I'm, I'm sorry about the step I did for you. And then tab this right here. Make sure it's tapped in. And here we have Bludgeon on his vehicle mode, tank mode. So here's SAS comparison with Combiner Wars Shockwave. Here. Move this up a little bit. So, this was my review on Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Nest uh, Bludgeon. See you in the next video, guys.